Hi, this week, I want to share with you about the shield of favor. You know, the year has already begun on a very good note. And uh, we have testimonies of God's goodness and favor. Now, I want to read the scripture to you in Psalms 5, verse 12. You know, it says, For thou, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor will that compass him as with a shield. I love this scripture. It's one of my favorite scriptures. The Bible says that the Lord will bless the righteous. Now, I don't want you to perceive that scripture as a promise. It's not a promise. It's a statement of fact. God is saying that by covenant, he will bless the righteous. He will empower the righteous. And listen, we are righteous in Christ Jesus. The Bible tells us in very, very clear terms, Second Corinthians chapter 5. It tells us in the 21st verse that he made him to be seen who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. As a child of God, I want you to know that you are righteous in Christ and God said he will bless you. And he didn't stop at that. And he says that with what? He will encompass you round about with favor like a shield. That means everywhere you turn, you will see the favor of God walking in your life. Every time I get up from the bed, it's like a default setting. As my leg hits the ground, I tell myself I am blessed and I'm surrounded by favor. It doesn't matter. In ministry, I'm surrounded by favor. In marriage, I'm surrounded by favor. In business, I'm surrounded by favor. Whatever it is I do, I'm surrounded by favor. Now, this is the mindset that Jacob took and went into the house of Laban. When he got into Laban's house, he knew that the blessing had been pronounced upon him. He believed it. He knew that God was with him. And you know, despite the fact that Laban tried to manipulate him, tried to defraud him, it was impossible to keep him down. This year, as you go into the Labans of this world, as you engage in businesses, as you pursue a career, as you follow the things that God has put in your heart, I'm telling you that there are Labans out there who will try to either bring, make laws or formulate policies, but I want you to know that the favor of God is like a shield that protects you from whatever negative law of policy that they try to put in place. All you need to do is to keep your focus on what God has said and believe it in your heart and speak it over your life and say, look, in Christ Jesus, I've been made righteous. And because I'm righteous, the favor of God is upon my life. And the favor of God is acting as a shield. You need have no fear. God is speaking for you in those places. So I want to encourage you to make it a practice to always say to yourself, believe it in your heart. You know, sometimes as we consciously begin to speak these things, it begins to register in our consciousness. And then we come to a place where we know, I'm righteous. God has blessed me. Favor is protecting me. And you discover that favor will shield you from every negative thing as you go about your day. So as you get into this week, be rest assured, the favor of God is a supernatural force protecting you. It will make room for you. It will open doors for you. It will cause your name to drop in people's hearts. It will create space for you where they say there's no space for others. Well, my name is Pastor Arame Tokula, and it's an honor to be able to speak a word into your life this week. Do have a great week. You're blessed.